Apologies in advance if you can't hear me because of the wind, so I'm going to try and talk a bit louder, unfortunately for you lost, but um, there you go. Here we go, let's see how this goes. So we took five points from the last four games and we kept three clean sheets in them. Just saying clean sheets are important. Right, do you know what, it, that game kind of in some way summed the season up. It's, uh, I said that I could have took a draw today and I'm not, look, I'll say take a draw, I'm not saying I'm delighted with it, but like I could have accepted not winning as long as I saw a much better performance and a response from Monday. And I think in large part we saw that. We did everything right except put the ball in the back of the net. One or two hairy moments aside, I thought Bristol City came content for the point, um, but at least like I've, said, like I've said loads of times, yes, we have a lack of cutting edge up front. And yes, we know this. We need to sign a striker who can score goals in the summer. And this is on Speakman in particular. Once we get the money for Clark, because I am convinced Clark will go, you know, what, I mean, you could tell how much we missed him today for his quality, but he's going to be off in the summer. Once that happens, if we do not spend an adequate portion of that money on getting a striker who will get at minimum 10, 15 goals, if not 15 to 20 next season, then Speakman deserves every bit of criticism that he gets because... For me, you, you, that, that is a glaring issue, along with the defensive midfielder. But there are issues that we need to be addressed in the summer. But that's a time. That's that's a whole different time for the summer. For me, for today, I thought Sunderland in general played really, really well. Um, we hit the crossbar. I think I hit the woodwork at least two or three times. We we were the team that had more chances. We were forcing the ascendancy more. It's just a shame we just didn't have that cutting edge up top. But it was a much, much better performance. And. In tight games like that, that is why I go on about the clean sheets, because the clean sheet, at the very least, if you're not going to win, make sure that we get the point, and it's another step closer to safety. Which again, given the context at the start of the season, wasn't good enough, but there you go. I thought, on the positive, I thought Equa personally, was back to his, back to his best today. I thought he looked really, really good. I thought it was, it was a similar to his performance at Cardiff, so maybe he just performs well against sides uh, near Wales or Bristol, doesn't he? Um, but I thought he looked really good today. I thought Daniel was good. Um, I thought obviously Jack Clark was a bit rusty, but you could tell. We had, look, in general across, I think Ballard no 9 were largely very good. I mean, obviously a large part of that was because they weren't troubled as much, but you can only play what's put in front of you. And you can tell Jack Clark was rusty, but, you know, we've got to get him playing to get his price tag up on the summer, which I know is a very cynical way of looking at it, but that's just how it is, I think, for me. Um, but at the end of the day, we're, we're played well enough. We've got, we've got a point at least. You know, we've got two games coming up, Leeds and West Brom, where I expect absolutely bottle from those two fixtures. And then we've got three winnable games after that to try and end the season off. I think more than ever, we just need to keep putting some decent performances in and get to the end of the season. And then the summer is where the scrutiny will really, really start if there isn't any already, and rightly so. Anyway, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. Um, obviously, I'm trying to get my subscribe account up and a number of people who watch aren't subscribed. So if you think I've earned it from you and you like the content or you're not sick of it, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you on Tuesday after the Leeds game. Fingers crossed we can at least put some shooting boots on. But on Tuesday, we've got no pressure, nothing to lose. Take care, you lovely lot. Thanks for the support and see you all later.